In this morning's Health Watch, playing a patient. Actors do all sorts of jobs to pay the bills. You can even find many of them auditioning at hospitals. Yeah, maybe the last place you'd expect, but it kind of makes sense. They're teaching future doctors some valuable lessons, as correspondent Bill Whitaker reports. Stage and screen actor Neil Mayer has credits that run from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest to Blue Bloods. Isn't that a case of too little, too late, Commissioner? No, it's a question of reacting appropriately to a tragic incident that occurred in this city. I was on Broadway in Les Miserables for four years. I've done a lot of off-Broadway stuff. I played George Bush in Bush's Bad. But today, this is his stage. It's a mock medical exam room at New York's Weill Cornell Medical College, equipped with cameras and microphones. And this is Mayor's costume. Earning $25 an hour, he's playing a patient. And his co-star is a real-life second-year medical student. Just going to start by asking you a few questions just okay. to get a sense of your mental function. Okay. Here, it's the student's um, performance that's being evaluated by a very small audience, an instructor behind a two-way mirror. It's a way to help inexperienced students take what they learn in the classroom and apply it in an actual clinical setting. They get an opportunity to practice and potentially, frankly, to make a mistake without any harm coming to a patient. 126 U.S. medical schools report using these so-called standardized patient programs. Each one employs a variety of actors, spending the day portraying patients with the same symptoms. One. On this day, it's a neurological problem, but on other days, the script could call for something else. I have had meningitis as a standardized patient. I have uh, had gout. I've had a whole bunch of different ailments over the years. And are you experiencing any discomfort? Just a little burning during urination. Okay. Programs like these were played for laughs in Seinfeld's. Gonorrhea! Gonorrhea! <laughs> Sometimes getting a troublesome patient like Kramer, or worse, is par for the course. This is a really cool chair. It is. At the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA, medical students encounter Twinkie, a streetwise 17-year-old. Okay. So how many partners have you had in the past month, let's say? Mm, I don't know. How many have you had? It's kind of mean in a way. We're sort of Something trained to torture them, <laughs> but that's how they learn in this particular case. Look what I got from the outside. Oh, yeah? They have balloons in the shape of hands. <laughs> Catch. Any fever or chills? No. Hi, my name is Molly Diaz. I'm a fourth year medical Molly. student. Molly Diaz spends her time with actual patients now, but is grateful for meeting the fictional Twinkie. I interviewed Twinkie um, a few years ago, and um, she seemed very extreme at the time, but I actually had a patient who was very similar to Twinkie uh, in one of my clinics, and I feel like having that uh, interview sort of under my belt in a, a lower stress environment really helped me interact with that patient. So, like, I'm going to die or something? You're, you're not going to die. There's plenty of people who have HIV and they're still alive. They the students have to give Twinkie a devastating alive. diagnosis, and this make-believe encounter becomes all too real. It got to a point where I felt like, yes, like, you know, I am here in this patient's story and we're trying to figure out the next steps of care. And it's really empowering to be able to have that experience moving forward in, in the next steps of my medical education. The actors walk away feeling empowered as well. I can feel it when I'm in the room that what I'm doing is doing some good. You okay? And textbooks will never tell you that sometimes a hug is the best medicine of all. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.